to go see Liz today. She's a hairstylist at the Cut Body in Hollywood. She's the wife of our photographer, and he's always telling us about aches and pains she's complaining about from the repetitive stresses of her job. So I'm going to see how we can help her. Come on, let's go. Ah, hi, Liz. Hey, Jill. I'll be right with you. Now take your time. I'm a little early. It's perfect because I get to watch her in action. I've been a customer of hairstylists, and you guys have such a limited range. There's so much repetition in what you do. What are your aches and pains? Mostly my hands, my lower back, and my feet as well, since I stand all day. Shoulders. In beauty school, did they teach you any strategies for surviving this job? No, not for uh, the longevity of it. Here's what I see. You spend a lot of time on the right side of your body. The scissor side, we're definitely gonna work on your feet. Then for your lower back, we're gonna do something really surprising for your pelvis. And then we're gonna work on this long chain from fingertips through the forearm and elbow, through the front of your chest and shoulder. And then we'll do a whole stretch. It helps you to keep your shoulders on your body rather than letting them fall forward. I'm ready. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> you are on your feet all day and you don't move a lot. So we'll start with the right foot, right where your plantar fascia inserts into the heel. And you put your toes down just put a little bit of weight into that foot. So really the ball gives you feedback about whether or not you can activate that muscle. All right, next we're gonna go to a muscle that controls the big toe and also the midfoot. It's called the abductor hallucis. When our feet are stuck in shoes, it moves the bones out of correct axis and then the muscles sort of, they go to sleep and they don't move our toes correctly. So this is a way to stimulate that and bring it to life. So you wanna have about half the ball poking out from your instep. Spread your toes as much as possible. Now you have a similar thing on the outside of the foot. This is the abductor digiti mini-me and it moves your pinky toe. Yes! Do you see how smart your pinky toe is? Yes. It knows there a lot it is. more than it's been given credit for. <laughs> I'm gonna show you a sneaky way to help your low back while you're at work. It's not directly on the low back, it's an indirect spot, it's your pelvic floor. You just place a yoga tuna ball on a stool or a bench and you just sit down, hold your breath, and then contract your pelvic floor. You can also contract your glutes and you'll feel it surrounding the ball. It's like a kegel. And then exhale and let go. So you do that several times and then you can do a little, little mini pelvic gyration. So you would rock your pelvis around and that will help to mobilize the ball into different fascial regions of the pelvic floor. And you might feel afterwards that your low back is totally refreshed. Liz, this is one of the most important relief moves that you can do every day. This is a relief for the pec minor, which is a muscle, one of the muscles that helps your hand to hold itself forward while you're cutting and while you're combing hair. So the ball is gonna go right below your collarbone, above your breast area, and you lean right into the wall. And you just let your body smush there and breathe. Anybody that works with their arm in front of their body, which by the way is all keyboards too, and I'm sure you hold onto a cell phone. This is just one of those muscles that helps to provide relief. All right, then lastly, twist the ball. So this is called pin spin and mobilize. You wanna rotate the ball and gather as much tissue as possible, and then bring your arm up and out to the side. That's gonna put that muscle into its biggest stretch. I don't wanna leave this position. All right, Liz, we're gonna tackle your elbow because your, your elbow is the thing that has to negotiate the weight of your scissors and help transmit that up to your shoulder. Now, your elbow pays a price. This is a really simple move. It's just a plus ball against, really, the side of your elbow and a wall. So let your right arm be as lazy as possible, and really, it's your body weight pinning the ball, and you can use your other hand here also to steer. And so you'll shift in order to get the ball below the elbow and above the elbow and dancing it around as many different myofascial tracks as possible. And then one more thing here is you can just lock it in place, so be in that upper arm region, and open and close the elbow, like you're doing bicep curls. And so this is gonna work on those tissues. And this will translate all the way up into the shoulder and the neck. This should have all your rings, all your diamonds, because this is the thing that you're using the almost any other vocation on the planet. Constant opposition. You need a ball. So I'm stacking the other thumb on top and that will help create a little bit more of a wedge. So you want to drive pressure in slow motion, moving the ball literally through this channel. The slower you can go, the better. 
then move the ball as if it were an orange. So in fact, the ball is stable and you're pivoting and ringing into this tissue. Okay. One of the things that happens day in and day out when we're using this is we get very dehydrated in this region of the hand from the amount of load that's going on with the cutting and the combing and the holding the hair blow dryer. All right, Liz, so we're gonna tie all of the mobilizations we've done together into an active stretch. So from your hands through your elbow, your shoulder, even up into your neck, you wanna bring your left arm up and pin it to the wall. Your fingertips are gonna face backwards. And you'll actively stretch by trying to use your hand to pull the wall forward, use your elbow to bring the hand into your shoulder and then use your shoulder muscles and your biceps and pec minor to pull the wall forward. And you probably can feel a lot of stretch, especially in that pec minor and that bicep area where we were working with the alpha ball earlier. And then reverse that, peel the fingernails away from the wall, remove your hand from the wall and try to drive the bottom edge of your shoulder blade into your back. Keep that Y-like angle. Okay. So this is gonna force the lower traps to turn on. So now you wanna activate all the muscles that were on the opposite side of the arm and then release. Liz, this is my version of sharing a really nice haircut with you. So this is from a feet to fingertips trim to help you to live better in your body. So you've got your foot revival, some soul saving, and from fingertips all the way through chest, and then helping you to integrate and stabilize your shoulders on your back so they stay there instead of getting drawn into the vortex of the haircut. You look beautiful from inside out. Thank you. <laughs>